do 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 love choice start love game I'm a game developer there's a game jam today a game jam is a game development event participants only have 48 hours to make a game around a given theme sometimes if you're lucky enough you can team up with girls in a game jam however with our team it's not the case the jam begins on Friday afternoon most of the teams will spend the first night designing their own game everything went well with our team and a game idea has been settled on so I'm taking a break to look around I notice her her team is next to mine it looks like her team is in an intense discussion I heard one of her teammates say let's just take a break and try again in 10 minutes her teammates leave their chairs leaving her alone writing her notes this is my chance to talk to her I think to myself I check my hair and clothes and put on the best smile I can I walk to her side acting as natural as I can would you like to hear about my game idea she appears to be feeling awkward but she still hears our game idea and that's not too bad after game jam ended I found her through the WeChat event group although we felt kind of awkward at the beginning we soon became each other's pen pal sharing each other's secrets and feelings my friends say that even though I didn't win an award at the game jam I'm still a winner I can't argue with that I'm so lucky to have met her two weeks later we were texting through WeChat and I'm thinking of when to ask her out and maybe watch a movie and have a meal together my boss scolded me today I just did what he told me to it shouldn't have become my fault your bosses take advantage of you and you should take responsibility for your boss's mistakes it will always be this way there's no need to be upset about it more than this none of my colleagues stand by me how loyal they are maybe they don't have a clear idea of what happened they weren't involved maybe they just don't really know what happened I still feel bad would you like to go out with me this weekend I'm sure that we will have a nice time okay maybe watch a movie spoiled girls got love comedy there we go I believe that this movie will be interesting okay see you this weekend I already bought the movie tickets maybe I should find a fancy restaurant somewhere near the cinema for our date you can never be too prepared for a date I should try to find as many as I can mini game click the good restaurant to add it to your favorites avoid the bad stores prepare for your first date okay play that's a good one this is exciting
Oof, close. Yay! Okay. Okay, good. Oh, fuck. Fuck it. Fucking pop ups. Ah. Okay. Um, shit. Okay, stop now. Okay. Jesus. Ah. Anna. Um, I think I've had enough. It's finally the day of our date. It's my first time sitting next to her, and I can't help feeling a little nervous. I just keep telling myself to calm down and focus on the movie. The movie ends, and we stay in our seats until everyone else has gone. The movie was kind of interesting. It wasn't bad. So, what's next? I know a nice restaurant nearby. Oh, um. Oh, um. I don't like any. Uh, wimpy. There isn't a wimp, sadly. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for some dim sum. Sure, I'm not picky. I do like a wimpy. Moonlight paints a silver outline around her face. I can hear my heart beat as I look at her. We are becoming closer and closer. We don't even need to speak. There's already a tacit understanding between us. I don't think there's anything more to be said. Um, the moon is beautiful. Um, that night we fell in love. We talk to each other a lot. We always talk about things we have in common. We are eager to understand each other deeper. We want to look closely into each other's hearts. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. I like sandwiches. I gotta go. Bye. That was a great conversation. Oh. Um. Fuck you, you shit weasel. You wanking knob muncher. Shut up your festering cum bucket. She still likes to tell me about her little troubles in her daily life. Just like she used to. I believe a clever girl like her should be able to handle these little affairs on her own. Although, she always seems to be upset about them. My boss scolded me today. I just did what he told... I just did what he told me. It shouldn't have become my fault. Um... Maybe it was a misunderstanding. Maybe your boss didn't mean to do that. It might be best to try to let it go. You know, more than this, none of my colleagues stand by me. How loyal they are. Um, no one wants to upset their boss. Yeah. Well, very well. Okay. When you live together, you start to see some flaws that you didn't notice at first. Oh, she's a scruffy cow. 
Troubles always arise between couples. Either I bow to her or she bows to me. There is no third answer, is there? When I came home from work, she was watching her favorite Korean TV series. Empty food boxes and tissues are everywhere. Um, I'm so tired, I pretend not to notice. Because I'm not playing that. Fuck that. Time goes by so fast. It's already been three years since we met. Three years ago, we met at Game Jam. Actually, I noticed you glance a few times before you talk to me. To be honest, I didn't feel comfortable when you first talked to me. Maybe you should act more natural. We started chatting more with each other after that. Gradually, you became the one I talked to the most. Do you still remember our first date? I was confused because I didn't see you prepare anything for our date. So I thought maybe you didn't have any interest in me. Do you remember the first time we held hands? I felt that on a beautiful night like that, words would have only ruined the mood. We had more time to get to know each other afterwards. We talked about what hobbies we had in common and shared everything about our lives. But our talks only scratched the surface. I always wanted to share deeper thoughts with you. Though we have a good time together, we still sometimes fight. You were so stubborn when we fight and I don't always want to be the one to apologize first. This leads us to have a lot of fights over little things. I hope you will always be there as a listener for me. Maybe I shouldn't be upset about those little things in my life because I know I can handle them. But I still want you to stay with me to hear me out and share my feelings. I want you to know that I need more than cold advice, like how people treat their jobs. We are not perfect. I believe that neither of us should con concede to the other, because one-sided concession won't last long. But sometimes I want you to tolerate my shortcomings. Did my sudden letter scare you? I have never shared my feelings like this before. And this will be the first and last time. Sadly, we couldn't make it. But I don't regret our relationship because I have learned a lot from it. I wish you all the best. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, that was sad. We broke up. Well, there we go. I think that's enough of that, don't you? 20 minutes? Yep. Right, night night to everyone. That was your bedtime story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to go and have a bit of toast. So, um, yeah. Bye.